My name is Caleb Hobson Garcia. I'm a student at Florida State University, and I'm about to graduate with my Bachelor of Science. I should be in class right now, wrapping up my senior semester and preparing to celebrate graduation, but instead I'm here. And I have just one question for you. To the sponsor of this bill, do you want me in the women's restroom with you? Because if this bill passes, you'll be requiring trans men, like me, to use the women's restroom or face criminal punishment. This is rooted in trans misogyny, which is a hatred of trans women. It's rooted in your hatred of non-passing trans people, because being faced with trans people makes you uncomfortable. You haven't even stopped to consider the trans people who look like me, who have passing privilege, which means I'm perceived as cisgender most of the time. You haven't even considered what me following the law would look like. It looks like me in the stall next to the females with my low voice and my facial hair. It looks like me with characteristics that terrify people when they're seen on trans women. It looks like me bringing discomfort and potentially traumatic experiences to women. If I follow the law when this bathroom ban passes, it also puts my safety at risk. What happens when husbands see me following their wives into restrooms? This law would open the door to aggressive behavior inside and outside of bathrooms as strangers demand other people prove their gender, making all people less safe. That includes cis people who don't conform to stereotypical appearances. Let's be honest, this bill is not about protecting people. We already have laws in place that make it illegal to harm or harass people or invade their privacy. These laws in place are used to prevent assault, keep people safe, and hold offenders accountable. You're not trying to protect people. This bathroom ban is just another piece of the nationally coordinated effort funded by far-right Christian billionaires like Betsy DeVos to erase trans people from society because we don't fit into a narrow, religiously motivated worldview. If you pass this bill today, know that you're forcing me to use the bathroom with your daughters, wives, mothers, and sisters. Your Thank time, you. Your time has expired. Thank you, Kevin.